Destination Sailing Channel is sponsored by Seawater Pro. If you are buying a water maker, follow the link below and receive an additional set of filters with your purchase. If you speak with Mike at Seawater Pro, don't forget to mention Destination Sailing Channel. Hello and welcome to Destination Sailing Channel. I am Carla. And I am Simon. And we are from the YouTube sailing channel Sailing Ocean Fox. Over the past three years we have sailed over 26,000 miles through the Mediterranean, across the Atlantic and the Caribbean. In this series we will be looking at some of our favourite islands, towns and keys we have visited during the, our adventure. This will give you a fresh insight into your next destination, what to expect on arrival, places to stay, things to do and how to find those necessary provisions from gas to bananas. So let's start with this week's location, Islas Mujeres in Mexico. Yeah, we last visited there in uh, winter of uh, 2020 before we started making our way back east to Europe. So Islas Mujeres is located 10 nautical miles east of Cancun, 320 nautical miles west of Grand Cayman and about 330 miles from Key West in the US. Uh, the language spoken is Spanish, but we actually found that an awful lot of people did speak English to mm. some extent or other. Uh, the courtesy flag is the Mexican national flag. The climate is semi-tropical with an average early temperatures of 78 degrees Fahrenheit, which can rise up to 95 Fahrenheit in the summer. Average rainfall per year is 1 1400 millimeters. Yeah, the weather was really nice when we were there actually uh, in uh, December and January. We were just out there having a, getting a bit of a suntan in it. Yeah. <laughs> and we were going swimming. It was absolutely yes, beautiful. Yes, yes. I do like this section. It's called Interesting Facts. <laughs> now, it is claimed by some, certainly not by us, that the beach to the west of town is the most beautiful beach in the world. It's not a bad beach, to be honest, but I really do think that this yes, is that just are, tourist it, talk. Yeah, there are much better beaches There are everywhere. much more beautiful beaches, actually. <laughs> yeah. uh, and our beach is, beach is a little bit grubby in places as yeah, well. It's not yeah. the best. Yeah, yeah, it's not the best, no. In pre-Columbian times, the island was sacred to Icho, the Maya goddess of the moon, fertility, childbirth, medicine and wife of the sun. Maya woman canoed to the island seeking her help Wisdom and blessings. Oh, oh nice. <laughs> That's lovely. We like that. Okay, uh, the currency is the Mexican peso, uh, which is around about 20 of those to the US dollar. So yeah. you get lots and lots of that. And the money is a bit grubby, isn't it? Yeah, you know, it's it is. not particularly yeah. nice and clean. Yes, that's right. So time zone is UTC minus five. Uh, the closest city is uh, Cancun. Cancun, yeah. yep. Which uh, you which can reach by ferry. Short ferry right away. Yeah. We're going to cover that off in a minute. So leading on to uh, navigation, uh, the waters around the island do have some reefs, so you do actually need to be a little bit careful, although it's quite deep enough uh, once you're away from the actual island itself. Uh, there is a marine park there, and uh, the park has a ban on vessels that draw more than two metres, and that's in order that they don't scrape the bottom and... Uh, uh, cut, but damage the reefs and when you actually come into the main lagoon don't get uh, taken by the ferries that sort of cut a corner make sure you go all the way down to the buoy and then come back in because there is some shallows across that bit but the ferry drivers they don't draw very much and they actually know where uh, it is uh, the voyage is pretty good actually and the voyage is lit yes region b so the green square top boys will be on the left as you enter from the ocean that's correct now uh checking in is all rather complicated and yes. you basically have two options either an agent uh or direct with the port captain's office now it's all complicated because you've got some many different forms and things like that to fill in and you actually have to get like five, five copies of everything uh, photocopied. It actually got us a bit scared when I was started reading about the process and so we decided to go for an agent and yeah. we completely regretted this. Day. Yeah, we did regret it and <clears throat> also when we checked out we didn't bother to use an agent. Uh, but with these things you have to get photocopied. You have to turn up with uh, your ZARP. Yeah. Photocopied five times. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Crew list. 
Yes. Photographed it five times. Mm -hmm. uh, your vessel registration That's document, uh, passport for each uh, crew member, photocopied again five times, and uh, the uh, visa. There is a photocopy shop just right on the corner, which. Uh, yeah, just around right the corner use. from yeah. the uh, port captain's yes. office. Yeah, yeah, the guy in the port captain's office will, will actually tell you, tell you yes. where to go. Yeah. And uh, they're obviously used to uh, us boaters going in there and yeah. uh, sorting it out. Now, if you do do it yourself, uh, there is a complete list of where to go and in which order to go because you've got to kind of go backwards and forwards, get something done, go back to the port cap, he stamps it, you then take it somewhere else and go with that. So you need to look up uh, www.sailingtruth.com and I'll put a full link to take you directly to the site down below. Yeah, and if you choose to have an agent, the agent will be at Marina Paradise. Yes. Uh, so they yes. will um, have everyone to go to the Everybody marina. will actually go there, but yes. you won't actually get your final certificate until the next day. Yes. It still is a 24-hour process. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, once you have checked in, uh, you then, if you're going to stay on the island uh, or in Mexico for more than two weeks, you have to get a tip. Yeah. Uh, so you have to take the ferry to Cancun, yeah. walk, knock along the waterfront. The white building is on your right. You have to it's on pay... on your left. On your left, left yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then you have to pay $60. You have to pay attention because you need to pay, uh, take cash and they won't give you the change. But it's like $59.60 or something. Yeah. yeah. And uh, this is US dollars, of course. This yeah. isn't uh, uh, pesos. So, and then you, I think it, it's um, for three years, isn't it? Yes, something I like that. I think it was three years. No, it's ten, quite, years ten, ten years. Ten, ten years. Ten years. That was it. Yeah, you could stay there for ten years. No, no, no help at all for us because no. we don't stay yeah. there for a few yeah. months. So. Um, vets. There is actually quite a lot of vets around. Yeah. And there's one by, by, by that little marina we were just talking about. Uh, yes. Um, if you're taking your cat and your dog in, uh, you're going to have to get the ag agricultural officer to come out and inspect his or her passport and all your documentation and if she's not really quite happy she'll get the vet uh, to come out as well uh, and in our case uh, we were out on anchor and uh, we actually went to the marina in the rib and uh, the officer wasn't very happy with the paperwork so she got the vet out the vet came out she sort of mulled all over it for about 10 minutes half yeah, an hour, yeah. and said i'll tell you what uh, i'll issue a health certificate Yes. Which cost us like $25 for her to issue a health certificate. Yeah. And she never saw Dobby at all. No, no. And, never saw and Dobby. when you come back, uh, when you leave the island, just come back to me and I'll give you an upgrade yeah. of the health certificate. Yeah. So you have, before you go to Cuba, you have uh, Another one. a fresh one. <laughs> <laughs> so it is kind of all a little bit like that, really, yeah. whereby you think you're going to have to, uh, uh, yeah. but it's not, it really wasn't that difficult. No. Healthcare. So healthcare, there is there are uh, two modern hospitals in the island, uh, but you have to go to Cancun. Everything happens in Cancun. It does really. It? Yes, yeah, yeah. I, I don't think these yeah. hospitals. Are, it may maybe a bit of an accident, emergency, but basically yeah. you have to go to Cancun. Yeah. The healthcare is actually very uh, good around there. I actually was quite brave and uh, had my eyes. Um, I had the lenses move changed in my eyes, uh, in both eyes. So I've got bionic eyes now. And uh, they were pretty good. They were damn good. Yeah. yeah. And, and they did all the health checks afterwards. Yeah. They were very good yeah. on what they said they're going to do, uh, explaining the whole process yeah. and uh, going through everything. And uh, the place uh, we went there for recommendations for actually yeah. from another sailing channel, uh, Sailing Uma. Yeah. Um, yeah. Dan had his eyes done there. Yeah. Exactly the same operation. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, it was good. We yeah. have no reg regrets at no, all. No, none at all. Highly recommended, actually. Yeah. And it was so much cheaper than having the operation done in the UK. Oh, yeah, it was yeah. about a third yeah. of a price. And I've had an optician look at them since, and he says they're really good. No yeah. no problem at all. Being mm. done an excellent job, yeah. And you had a biopsy done, Yeah, didn't you? I had a scan and the biopsy there because they weren't sure uh, if it was um, something more serious. So they uh, uh, sent me to another, um, another clinic mm. to have the biopsy. And everything, again, was was absolutely perfect the doctor was amazing yeah, yeah. she was she just explained the whole process everything it was everything was really really good yep. yeah yeah okay uh so going back to the technical stuff uh dinghy docks this is actually quite interesting uh your best bet to be honest is uh, on the beach by the soggy peso in the main sort of harbor there um, there's another spot we found behind the fuel pumps at Ballyhoo, a restaurant, and uh, that's where the filling station is. Um, 
they may charge you they may not yeah we but, went there quite a few times yeah. it's very very shallow i mean the boat the boat uh, hardly floats it's uh, kind of like half on the beach and half it's just floating. if the guy meets you uh, yeah. when you are yeah. arriving or leaving and they yeah. will hit, they will charge you it's not a lot yeah. i think it was about five dollars or something yeah, yeah. Uh, the other place that we used was uh, where we checked in uh, marina Paraiso. Yeah. Now the guy there was uh, he was quite good when we checked in he said oh anything you want just come you know come here do whatever you know we're easy but then actually after a few days uh, he got a bit uh, stroppy with us because we went back again and parked our dinghy there and he told us it wasn't a dinghy dock <laughs> so that was that really. <laughs> uh, so moving on to marinas <clears throat> yes, there are so many marinas along the waterfront. Really, many marinas, you yeah. know, isn't it? Yeah. And these, when we call yeah. back marinas, they don't—they don't really have a, like a floating pontoons or anything. No. They're really wooden decking yes. that comes out. Yeah, they're a bit uh, rustic. Yeah, a bit rustic. But some yeah. of them are quite large. I would yeah. think some of them take up to around about uh, forty boats. Some of them only take ten or twenty. But they're everywhere. Everywhere. Right? Yeah. And we were looking for uh, to leave the boat there for uh, a month because we had to do Simon's eyes, and it was better to be in the marina yeah. and uh, also we went to london from there so we yeah. wanted to secure the boat and leave it in a safe place so we found for our boat for a month was like from uh one thousand two hundred dollars to five hundred dollars which yeah. obviously we chose the five hundred dollars for yeah. one month yeah. which was pretty good and that included electricity and water water yes yeah, yeah. Yes. oscars um oscars we found an oscars fantastic yeah we did um he's got um it's a very rustic uh, sort of uh, place but um, he was absolutely charming. Uh, there was absolutely no problem there at all. I felt the boats were safe. Yes. Uh, it was deep enough. I mean, we only draw 1.2 meters, but it was more than deep enough. And they do a fair pizza as well, doesn't he? Does a good pizza. Does a good pizza. Yeah. 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 Cheap, good pizza. Yeah. <laughs> No, we liked it there. Oscars, yeah. very much. You won't like you if you have your air conditioning on. No, he you know, that's right. <laughs> he said, but no air conditioning. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now, anchorages. Now, most people do anchor here. Um, the main area is in the main harbour, which is uh, really fine. It's well sheltered shelter from the trade winds, but you do tend to get a little bit of um, uh, seagrass down there, and uh, consequently, uh, you know, you could well be. Uh, not gripping terribly well. Um, it, they do call it drag alley actually yes, uh, because uh, the holding isn't as good as it could be. Uh, we actually put two anchors out in tandem and, and we were absolutely fine. If you carry on uh, too far in to the harbour it, you've got some shallow patches so you need to be really a bit careful. Mm -hmm. uh, the other place is inside the lagoon mm -hmm. and uh, they do actually claim that this is a hurricane hole. Um, we actually found it was difficult to anchor because it was very very soft mud yeah. and uh, our anchor just wasn't sort of digging in and craw crawling into it but there were quite a lot of uh, boats there um, if you fancied it you could go out on uh, the beach to the north which would be all rather beautiful the water is yeah, absolutely yeah, yeah. stunning clear out there. yeah clear beautiful, beautiful colors absolutely wonderful and also outside the lagoon, outside the island to the west, uh, people actually anchor along there. And that is rather nice as well. And there is a little passage that goes through, which you could be rather brave and use if you wanted to. We didn't go through it. We no, went through it in a rig. In the dinghy. Yeah. <laughs> but I've seen boats that go through there. Yeah, so, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, fuel, uh, there's two places to get fuel. Uh, there's Pemex on the waterfront, uh, where, where the restaurant is. Um, but it really is quite shallow there. And it would be just be a matter of going in, uh, probably in your dinghy, unless you've got a very uh, shallow boat. And the other one is the Yacht Club Marina, which is really where the main boatyard is. And it's sort of like kind of like a modern... Um, uh, fuel station there uh, in the cut between the harbour and the lagoon. So uh, propane, so they will fill the US bottles at Z Gas, which is on the windward side of the island. So it's a long walk. Yeah, it's a bit uh, of a walk. Yeah, it's a bit uh, of a yeah. You need a trolley for your bottle. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which we did, but it can be a pleasant walk. It can you. be a pleasant walk. Yeah, and the guy was fine, and it was cheap as chips. Cheap, yeah. Uh, but he doesn't have any adapters, no. so he won't be able to do your. Uh, mm. U European uh, camping, camping gas, gas bottles yeah. unless you have an adapter to the uh, American mm. one. Now ferry service, you're going to love this. Yes. Oh my <laughs> word, this is out of your, out of any class you've ever been to. It's Ultramar is the main service yeah. uh, to Cancun and they also go somewhere else further down. Don't Cozumel. They? Cozumel, but they also go to um, 
the main hotel uh, area. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, the, the hotel zone, they yeah, call the it, hotel they? Zone, yes. there. Yeah. But these ferries are absolutely That's fantastic. super. Yeah. 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 All yeah. air conditioning inside, yes. yeah. all beautiful. And upstairs you've got a big sun deck and they nearly always have live music playing, so it's all rather nice, actually, yes. as you go yeah. across. It takes about 25 minutes to get there. Uh, cheapest chips uh, is around 23 pesos per round trip for two of you. Yes. Uh, they do a funny thing as well where the local people they don't pay as much as that they get no. it even cheaper but uh, <laughs> yeah. you get the option to go on the ferry first yeah. and they've come in they have the lines yeah. for the yeah. people who pays more and yeah. lines for the yeah. other people it's, it's, it's a strange system yeah there is another ferry service that goes to the Terminal Marina Puerto Juarez thank you uh, this is a cheaper service uh, yet again but it's really just kind of used by the local people uh, I don't think it's quite such a fast service as the no. Ultramare. Go, go, go on Ultramar. Yeah, it's a good Ultramar experience. <laughs> so buses and trains. So buses and trains. So taxi. There are two different types of taxis. So they have the official taxis, which they are in front of the, the port where, where you disembark from the ferry. Uh, so they are very, ex very expensive. I mean, when I say very expensive, they are more expensive. More expensive. Yeah. So yeah. if you cross the road... And just go a bit on the left, isn't it? Yep. You just, you know, they will they will stop anyway. And it's cheap as anything, you know. This is the you, local taxes. The local taxes. Yeah. But you just have to agree the price before yeah. uh, you go in. Because if you go in before you, you, you agree the price, you, you are trapped. Yeah. yeah. These, these, these local taxes are nowhere near as good quality vehicles. <laughs> no, they can go a bit fast. Yeah, they uh, don't have air conditioning. They can be a bit old. <laughs> But if you are here for the experience, I think you have to try yeah. everything. Supermarkets. Uh, so it's She Drawy Supermarkets. It's uh, their main chain of supermarkets. They have everything you need. And um, super cheap. Yeah, yeah, we, super, we, cheap. yeah, yeah. super cheap. We yeah. just, uh, yeah. And they have a very, very good um, alley of uh, products from anywhere. Yeah. So you can actually buy things that you're not expecting in Mexico. <laughs> yeah. And wine's pretty cheap too. Yeah, wine yeah, is oh, very We stocked cheap. up with a bit of wine there. Yeah. Uh, moving on to Chandra's, uh, the first stop probably is to go to Cancun. Uh, as soon as you get to the Ultramar um, ferry terminal, right there in the building is the uh, Yamar dealer. Uh, so you can get your Yamar parts there. Yamar parts there. I actually bought some filters and things, but he didn't have everything for mine. Um, and also he does carry some Chandra if you need some. Uh, there are further three Chandra's in a little cluster, around 25 minutes walk uh, from the Ultramar terminal. Uh, in town, and they actually have an awful lot. Um, they are uh, one of them was kind of like a Chinese supermarket, wasn't it? Yes. Uh, but it was huge, and yeah. um, they had a lot of things that we we were, you know, buying at the time. Yeah. And there is actually a guy on the island. Uh, he's behind the boatyard, between the boatyard and the main road. If you go into the boatyard, walk across the boatyard out the gate. Uh, and he's just in a little road there and he does a lot of sort of second hand parts so if you actually really do desperately need something he'd probably be able to help i needed a, an american uh yeah, three phase adapter. plug yeah. and uh he did actually happen to have one but he yeah. charged me it's a very one. messy place but if yeah. you look you know uh, yeah. around you're going to find something that yeah. you probably need yeah so the main boatyard is uh, the Yacht Club and Marina, which is uh, where the filling station is, just along the uh, creek there. Uh, they actually have a 150-ton travel lift, and they can take a yacht up to 29 foot wide. So uh, we could get out there. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be a bit <laughs> tight, but we could actually get there. So Sailmaker, um, we used Alex, uh, which is a sail repairing canvas lady. She has a small loft at the boatyard, right at the boatyard. Um, she made us uh, the replacement for the sail cover. Uh, it was okay, wasn't it? Yeah, she it was just, okay. She can't provide the materials because, no, no. I mean, she can, but she said she has to go over to Cancun, yeah. buy and come back, so she will yeah. lose more time. So it's better yeah. if you go and choose your yeah. materials, bring it to her, yeah. and she will do it. She yeah. was fine. She was fine. Yeah. She was very good, actually. Yeah. And... Um, yeah, she actually did some sail repairs to us. She just put some tape up the back of the sail where uh, the UV was, uh, got to it over the last few months. Uh, but by God, she has some mosquitoes in that place. Yes. Cool. Oh, Big yeah, bubbles, yeah. I remember that Terrible. now. Destination Sailing Channel is sponsored by Seawater Pro. If you are buying a water maker, follow the link below and receive an additional set of filters. If you speak with Mike at Seawater Pro, don't forget to mention Destination Sailing Channel. Check out our video where we installed our Seawater Pro water maker. Well, what to see and do? 
Yeah, so it looks like the main thing that people do when they arrive there is just rent one of those uh, mini golf cars and yeah. go around the island. It's quite dangerous, I think, actually. Yeah, I know, as you fall off the back. Yes. <laughs> but uh, you can't actually rent a car on the island, so uh, yeah. renting a, um, one of these uh, electric golf carts is uh, really quite a good thing. Our advice would be walk, guys. Just, yeah, walk, just walk around walk. the island because yeah. you can walk the whole island. You can walk the whole island. Yeah, 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 yeah. We did that. And, and, and actually, there's no, once you go out of the main town, it's not that It's not, to yeah, no. 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 Yeah. So, North Beach... Uh, as we mentioned earlier, it's supposed to be uh, the most beautiful uh, beach in the world. Um, I have my doubts about that. But uh, if you want to go to the beach to the, for the day, that really is the one to go to. Yeah. Yes. They have some uh, restaurants along the beach. There, there's restaurants everywhere, yeah. isn't yes. there? And yeah. and all the restaurants are reasonably priced. Yes, the beer's are. cheap. You know, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, nothing's expensive here. Yeah. And the town's rather rather pretty, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. Yeah. 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 It's, it's very rustic. Yeah. 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 So you can dive in snorkel. They they have an underwater museum. Uh, yeah, I don't know why we didn't go. We tried, but we couldn't find it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we did some snorkeling around. It was we did. really good. Actually, yeah. There's yeah. a few little wrecks in the harbour, yeah. and uh, you can go for a snorkel around those. And there's lots of um, uh, fish and things like that to see. It's really good. Now, at certain times of the year, the whale sharks come by. And uh, that is actually supposed to be quite spectacular. It yeah. wasn't at the time when we no, were there. No, we wanted we to do that. We because we wanted to go yeah. diving yeah. with them. Yeah, but it was from yeah. May, I think. Yeah, yes. but I couldn't go diving, could I? Because my eyes, that yes. was what it was. Yeah. I wasn't yeah. allowed to go yeah. diving from, no. uh, because of my eyes. Yeah. Um, as we mentioned, uh, it's a must to get the ferry to Cancun. Yes, it is. It is. Absolutely, absolutely. Brilliant. yes. Absolutely, absolutely. brilliant ride. Yeah. If you just want to go there and back, really well worth it. Yeah. Uh, a really good experience. Yeah. If you want to go shopping and buy some traditional, um, you know, all those blankets and hats and things that the Mexicans have, that is the place to go. It is beautiful. They have beautiful blankets, which I wanted to buy one and you didn't let me. Oh, sorry about that, sweetie. <laughs> Uh, Cancun is actually uh, a really a very large city and uh, it's typically laid out in a modern style with straight roads and things like that. Um, but there is uh, a beautiful development there, uh, which is the Marina de Cancun. Yes, it is beautiful. Really, mm. really nice. You have yeah. to go and see it because the marina is very modern. You know, all yeah. the bin buildings are yeah. very, very modern and has uh, a mall. So yeah. you can you have the traditional uh, chain uh, yeah. shops, shops to yeah, go buy like anything. That. Yeah, they've even got an apple store there. It was all rather good. Yes. Yeah, we quite like that place. Yeah. And you can go and sit out and have meals. And oh yeah, it was beautiful, beautiful like view. That, yeah. Yes. So moving on to connections. Yes, International Airport at Cancun, about 30 minutes away from the ferry port. Yeah, you can get a flight to almost anywhere from there, uh, yeah. whether from the US or for uh, from Europe. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for listening to our channel. Just a reminder that you can see our adventure on YouTube at Sailing Ocean Fox. On 